We would like to welcome you to our seventh grade BCMS orientation. Welcome BCMS students and parents. We are embarking upon a new normal for this school year. And we want each student and parent to know how much we care. We have committed to do the work so we can reimagine Bessemer. We also expect our students to do the work so they can experience academic success, social emotional peace, and physical health. We'll start this school year off strong with great expectations, and we will end this year meeting those expectations because we did the work to become better in Bessemer. Have a super fantastic school year and welcome back virtually. This year, we are combining two models, do the work while reimagining Bessemer City Schools. Our personal model for Bessemer City Schools is do the work. The model for the city system for Bessemer City Schools is reimagine Bessemer City Schools. A word from Jaden Henderson, the songwriter of Do the Work. Ms. Thomas. This was City Middle School. This is your boy, Jaden Henderson, here. And I have a vision word in the background with me because you have to say, Marcus, I have to say, where I need to go. And I need you need to stay focused as well during this school year. We got to do what we did this school year. I don't know if I told you about it, but we got to do the work. It's very clear. Do the work. And it's just straight tripping. This year's administrative team will consist of our principal, Ms. Lisa Hurd, assistant principals, Mr. Van James, and Ms. Jamika Simmons Thomas. Also, our administrative staff, Ms. Kiana Childers Nash, Ms. Patricia Wright, and Ms. Rashida Martin. Our counseling department consists of Ms. Tanya Miller, our eighth grade counselor, Ms. Extra Cochran, our seventh grade counselor, and Ms. Tamara Oliver Jackson, our sixth grade counselor. We are so excited to have Ms. Tamara Oliver Jackson this year. She is new to our staff and we welcome her. This year, we have a new library media specialist, Ms. Kimberly Hunter. Ms. Kimberly Hunter has set some great media center expectations. She wants our students to treat the library with respect and care. She wants us to return our books on time and respect all library properties. We will enjoy the library this year because it has been repurposed. She wants us to connect, explore, and discover. Ms. Hunter has said she wants our students to have book talks to increase student engagement. Suggestions are encouraged because we want our students to have an outstanding library experience. Our seventh grade teams consist of two um, teams, our white and purple. For white cubs, we have 
Ms. Wynn, Mr. Dumas, Mr. Lawson, and Ms. Tiffany Pugh. For our Purple Cubs, we have Ms. Galia Malone, Ms. Hicks, Ms. Cunningham, or Dr. Cunningham, and Ms. Gill. Our PE coaches are Coach Lassiter, Coach Moon, and Coach Burks. Our CTE department or career tech consists of Dr. Angela Dunlap, Ms. Javon Levy, Ms. Barbara Dunham, and Ms. Sarah Murray. Also, our fine arts department with our new choir teacher, Ms. Georgicia Cowan, and Mr. Tristan Twyman, who will be uh, leading our band. Special Education, Ms. Maddie Underwood, Ms. Michelle Williams, Ms. Brenda Simpson, and Ms. Caitlin Hagerla. On last night, our, the Bessemer City School Board approved the revised 2020-21 calendar. Our students will begin school on September 3rd, and this is a half day. They will log in from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. On September 4th, our students will have a half day as well at the same time from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. Labor Day, our school is closed on September 8th. This is the first full day for students. Our morning will begin at 9 a.m. The morning instruction ends at 12 p.m. Afternoon instruction begins, from, it is from 1.30 until 4.30 p.m. On November 11th, we have Veterans Day and BCMS is closed. On November 25th through the 27th, we have our Thanksgiving holidays and BCMS is closed. Our winter break is December 21st through January 1st and BCMS is closed. During the first semester of the first nine weeks, our superintendent, Dr. Autumn Judah, will announce to us what the, the plans are for the second nine weeks. Our remote instructional day. So our students will log into Schoology from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. On September 4th, they will log in from 8 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. On September 8th, we have our first school day for our students. Parents and students, let's think about this. Students attend school Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. These are regular days and the, the schedule is from 9 a.m. until 12 noon and from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. Teachers will not be available between 12 and 1.29. Teachers will not be available between 12 and 1.29 p.m. On Wednesdays, teachers will have small group instruction, tutoring, or parent meetings from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. Students will log in for small group instruction, tutoring, or, and parents will log in for parent meetings. Parents, if you have any questions about Schoology, please make sure you look at the Bessemer City Schools webpage for links. They have pre-recorded Schoology training sessions. If you would like a live session, there is a calendar that has the dates for those sessions. We want all of our parents to be informed and to have a great experience with our remote learning. Registration schedule and fees. Seventh graders, we are going to release this um, video today, August 19th, via our Facebook page, website, and YouTube channel. Please call the school to get your SNAP code. If you do not have a SNAP code, parents, please call the school or you can make an appointment to receive your SNAP code. Registration will be drive-through, seventh grade, 
August 25th with the last names of A through G will come from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. August 25th, last names H through N from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. August 26th, last name starting with O through S, 9 o'clock a.m. through 11 a.m. August 26th, last names T through Z, 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Students will receive, <coughs> excuse me, students will submit fees for um, T-shirt, mask, and these are printed masks, um, require IDs, lanyards, and BCMS handbooks and planners. When face-to-face -face instruction begins, students will be required to purchase lockers. The fees are for one child, $30, for two children, $50 that are in the same household, and for three children in the same household, $60. School supplies. School supply list will be by grade and posted on our school's web page, Facebook page, and sent via email and text to parents. We will also send a list of school supplies to our local Walmart. Computer pickup will be school computers, excuse me, computer pickup. School computers can be picked up during the scheduled pickup times. So, or the scheduled pickup registration time. So when you come to register and pick up your schedule, you can also pick up a computer. Okay, I now pass codes and report cards. I now pass codes for students and parents will be distributed during registration. This is the only form of paper communication during the school year because of COVID-19. Parents, from this, point, from, from this point on, all report cards will be accessed through iNow. All report, paper, oh, no more paper report cards. Everything's digital and report cards will be accessed through iNow. Schoology. Parents, we have a new learning management system and it is called Schoology. It's a social networking service and a virtual learning environment for our K-12 schools and higher education institutions. It allows our users to create, manage, and share academic content. Schoology has three components, course, resources, and groups. It will be compiled of two types of materials, informational materials and interactive materials. The informational materials contain folders, file uploads, links, pages, and media. The interactive materials contain discussions, assignments, media albums, and assessments. Schoology will become the main platform for virtual learning. Now, let me explain how to think about Schoology. Parents, please remember, Schoology has, is like a house. And in the house, you have rooms. So you can have schools, PLP, which is the, the learning the, or the academic content that the state has purchased through Schoology. We can also use Google Classroom. We can also have Acellus, Edmodo. All of these will be in Schoology. So when parents log into Schoology, they will be able to access everything without having to have multiple usernames and passwords. Students will be placed in classes in Schoology. Parents can access everything they need in Schoology. So this is our new learning management system and we are truly excited about it. And as I said previously, parents, if you would like training on Schoology, you can get that through the Board of Education, but you can also look up Schoology on YouTube and find tons of videos on how to use Schoology. Special Education 504 and PST. Parents, if you have students who have um, exceptionalities, then please know that there are measures in place 
virtual measures and some face-to-face -face measures that we can help every child who either has an IEP, an individualized education program, or who has a 504, and this is a protection for students with disabilities or students who may be struggling in school and who are have been um, referred to. So special education service and individualized education program. If your child has an IEP, your child's case manager um, will provide special education services for um, your child. However, the general education teacher or paraprofessional can provide accommodations. If, you're, if you have any questions regarding special education services at Bessemer City Middle School, please email me, Lisa M. Hurd at lherd at bestk12.org. 504, that's the protection for students with disabilities from discrimination. If your child has a 504 plan, BCMS will be, um, administrators will conduct an annual meeting to review the status of the plan. If you would like additional information or feel your child would benefit from a 504 plan, please contact Mr. Van James at vjames at bestk12.org. PST is our problem solving team. It will be a functioning team that uses a multi-tiered system of support for students regarding academics, behavior, and social emotional learning. All teams will meet every four and a half weeks to make recommendations for student interventions. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Thomas at jathomas at bestk12.org. Meals. Bessemer City Schools Child Nutrition Program provides lunch for anyone 18 years old and under during August 17th and August 24th. Students can pick up meals at Jonesboro Elementary School from 10 a.m. to 10.45 a.m., from C.F. Hart Elementary from 11 a.m. to 11.45 a.m., and from Abrams Elementary from 12 p.m. to 12.45 p.m. Beginning September 3rd, 2020, students must have a BCMS ID in order to pick up meals from the Bessemer City School Ch Child Nutrition Program. Again, by September 3rd, students must have a BCMS ID. This is from the federal government and also from Ms. Shaw, who is the director over CMP. The CMP department will only provide meals to Bessemer City School students. Again, the CMP department will only provide meals to Bessemer City School students. Athletics. Bessemer City Middle School will not host fall athletic events due to COVID-19. All Bessemer City Middle School athletes in seventh and eighth grades can participate in football and volleyball at Bessemer City High School if they have met the AHAA requirements. The Bessemer City Board of Education and Superintendent Dr. Autumn Jeter will provide guidance for spring sports um, based on COVID-19 data. We received multiple questions from parents. And these are questions from our seventh grade parents. The first question, can my child do virtual learning all year long instead of going back into the classroom? The answer is yes. If you selected for your child to have to receive instruction virtually, your child will be able to um, take those courses and in that format throughout the year. Number two follows um, number one, how will the virtual learning work? When does school actually start? Um, we just received, again, the proposed calendar for school starting September 3rd. Virtual learning will um, be through uh, a CELIS. There are different teachers. There are Bessemer City Middle School teachers, but there will be different teachers um, will be working virtually for those students who plan to do virtual all year. 
For those students who plan to be virtual all year, they will have a virtual teacher from Bessemer City Middle School. Computers. Computers will be picked up. Again, you can pick up a computer um, during registration or um, when you pay your fees. Again, you can pick up a computer when you are doing your registration, paying fees, or picking up a schedule. Will the students be required to log into each classroom at the designated time for that period and have some form of Zoom with the teacher daily? Ms. Thomas has been diligently working with our teachers and um, to create this schedule. So we'll let Ms. Thomas speak on that question. Um, teachers will be doing live teaching twice a day. Those are times that uh, your child can um, look at and be a part of a live class. That schedule is coming out. Those live teaching classes will be posted. So if your child is not able to participate in that live class for that teacher at that time, they still can watch that class. Again, teachers will be live teaching every day, twice a day, and that schedule is coming out shortly. Along with that, Ms. Thomas, um, I'm sure some parents are wondering if my child has a question. You know, that's why in the schedule we mentioned Wednesdays. Wednesdays, teachers are available from 8 until 4.30 to make sure that students understand. So parents, if, you, if your child is struggling, teachers will be reaching out to you and that will probably happen most days, but specifically on Wednesdays as well. Is there a school supply list for students? Yes, we do have school supply lists for students. They will be by grade. We are making them available via our Facebook page. Also, we are sending them out through Schoolcast with text and email, and we are also placing the list at our local Walmart. When will the first nine weeks be considered up? After the nine weeks are up, does this mean on campus for all students? So let's explain what went on. Dr. Jeter um, requested permission from the Alabama State Department of Education to change the number of student days from 180 to 170. This did not change the number of teacher days, just the number of student days. So our calendar didn't really change a lot other than the start date. To answer the question, when will the first nine weeks be considered up? On our new calendar, October 15th, is the end of the first nine weeks. So let me make sure I'm correct on that. Hold up, I'm sorry. I, yes, I, that's it. October 15th is the date for our, um, for the end of the nine weeks. And also Dr. Jeter said that at that time, she will make a determination if we come back into the building based on COVID-19 data. Thank you, Ms. Thomas. Yes. Will the students be able to meet their teachers virtually before um, September 3rd, um, 2020? Let me say this. It is our plan for students to be able to meet their teachers and uh, virtually or face-to-face, -face, but it will be on an individualized basis because of COVID-19. So when you bring your child for registration, it is our plan that those students will be able to meet those teachers virtually. But this will be, we will be very strategic in this process. Mm -hmm. How will band and choir classes be conducted the first nine weeks? Band and choir every nine weeks start with fundamental, um, or every year starts with fundamental knowledge. And so that will be the basis of what band and choir will look like virtually. Um, they also have some courses in Acellus, and they also still will be doing live teaching for um, choir and band. So it will look different, um, but it will still have the same quality of content. When will the students receive schedules? Students will receive their schedules during registration and um, pickup. 
Now, at that time, I, at this particular time, I do need to read a statement regarding the Alabama broadband connectivity for students. Um, this is so that students in Alabama will be able to receive um, internet services. The ABC for Students program will help households throughout Alabama access internet this fall. And I want to stress this fall because it ends um, December 31st. The Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Cares Act program provides $100 million in funding to deliver free internet access to eligible K-12 students in their homes this fall. The state of Alabama will use those funds to purchase internet service for low-income households with K-12 students so the children can participate in distance learning. We're working to make the process as easy as possible for students who choose to participate. If your student is enrolled in the National School Lunch Program through their school, you are already enrolled in the Alabama Broadband Connectivity for Students Program you will receive a prepaid voucher by U.S. mail by the end of August. Then all you'll have to do is call the internet service provider of your choice, give them your voucher code, and sign up for the service. If you have questions, please visit abcstudents.org, abcstudents.org for additional information. Now, parents, we read that to you because you only have 30 days to call a service provider with your voucher code. When you receive it in the mail, go ahead and call that day. They have not told us um, when they will be mailing those out, but when you receive it in the mail, you only have 30 days to call so that you can get the free internet service for this fall. We would like to thank you for our first, for participating in our first online orientation for seventh grade. We really discuss on a daily basis how much we wish we were all back in school and wish you all were here as well. But please know for safety purposes, we are doing the best that we could possibly do. We hope that you gained information from this session and we want to say thank you we will do the work and so that we can reimagine Bessemer and be the best Bessemer has ever seen in 2020, 2021. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.